I had a bit of a problem with it crashing. So that was fun. Um, and it crashed every time when I was using the save I just last saved. So I had to reload a save where I was back in the diner, thankfully like after the battle with the bugs, and just go through that all that again. And it's, it's actually fine now. So we're good. Now we're going to... Not do anything. So we're gonna go straight to Bertram. Thank goodness. So I I didn't spend the XP to give myself charisma uh, two because you really need four at least to get them to make up. So um, we'll save that up for later. Actually, I'm gonna put this into dexterity to help with my illusion. Even though I'm probably not going to actually, you know. Uh, do any stealthing right now. Why well, aren't you gonna do stealthing? But it'll be different. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? You knew I was looking for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Hmm. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. You must be Bertram Tongue. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, Fledgling. I know who you are. You too? News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. That's great. So you know I survived. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to that warehouse from Mercurio. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. The Sabat? The Sabat. Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not going to say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. What about the humans there? As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. They know they're working for vampires? Yeah. This is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Can you get me in, the, in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. I was born ready. Let's go. Okay. Alright. So... Normally, if I'm playing a clan that doesn't have uh, Trance, or Hysteria, or in this case, Eyes of the Serpent, I actually usually like to make sure I have a stealth at least four. Um, and in the final nights, I always make sure I have Illusion at least four. Well, it's actually technically five because of the stealth books I read, which gives me stealth two. Um, so that does actually cost me a pretty penny, but... I find it's worth it, because um, especially since I have quite a decent amount of money and I have at haggling five, it's not too painful. I mean, it's kind of painful, but it's not too painful. Anyway, all right. So luckily, I have eyes of the serpent, which makes my life so much easier, and I can do stealth kills. All right. So, to gain a special bonus, we're going to 
Go to the warehouse and plant the bomb without getting caught. Afterwards, it's fine. You don't have to worry about not getting caught, but uh, we're going to try to keep as much of a low profile as possible because uh, we are still very squishy. As you have seen, firearms really do hurt us, especially since we're playing as a satellite, and when we're in bright lights, uh, we have a bit of a problem Yo, with bashing. what the fuck is going on here tonight? Mox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Mark now, if you tense as a motherfucker, maybe you heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. Someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Now, if you want to watch a video where I show you how to stealth the warehouse without getting caught, um, you know, to plant the bomb, basically, and and I'm playing a clan that doesn't have uh, trance or hysteria, or in this case, or, I the serpent, because in that one I play as a salubri. And I had to buy those uh, stealth books, so, and also use some blip buff when I need to. So, you could find my little walkthrough of how to basically stealth a lot of situations in that game. Oh, that's weird. There's usually a silver ring here. Let me, let me, let me save here. Just wanna check something. That's strange. It didn't show up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's normally there. Uh, I guess it might have been removed. Maybe. Who knows? But if you have like uh, inspection four, at least I think that ring should be here or inspection five. Anything missing from that last ship? What was that? I forgot to look, but I'll do it tonight. Well, just be careful. What can I pay you guys for? This is the big score. So do your goddamn job right, or I'll bury you in the desert and find someone who can't. Won't happen again. So I'll check the shipment tonight. Order a pizza? Order a pizza? Where are they gonna deliver it, numb nuts? Thirteen abandoned warehouse full of kill off site hop heads away? I can pick it up. No. No one's going anywhere while we're sitting on this ship. How about I put a bullet in your gut? That fill you up? Oh, you goddamn mongo-looking bastard! Come on, no, you didn't. We ain't eating all night, y'all, boss. He didn't mean anything by it. What I just say? Hey, sorry, boss. Forget I said it. No, I want you to tell me what I said. Say it clear and firm, like a man. You said no one's leaving while we got this stuff here. Nice dude. I don't feel bad about potentially getting him killed in this warehouse. At all. I mean, he's pretty nasty. We'll get this extra ammo. Plenty plant. Alright. So we have six minutes and we got extra XP for not getting caught. Great. Alright. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna bluff buff. Hopefully this isn't Where are you going then? Oh well. with how I did that, so maybe we won't go that way. Too bad. Sorry, bit of a screw up. If I if I had better combat skills, I would have been better defenses. I would have been. Fine. Would have been fine. Well. But hey, well, I'm showing you basically you how you can get through this, even if you do mess up a bit. Like me. Freeze! <laughs> but obviously, you'd probably be able to stealth your way out of here, like me. Or fight your way. It depends on your build, really. Um, you probably won't do this like exactly like me, but I'm just showing you a particular build. You know, it depends on what disciplines you have. Like, because you might not have to worry about sneaking your way out because you have a piece of game. Or you just won't have any problems with, you know, doing combat. We gotta be careful about these oil things because. Let's see, actually. Actually, now I can unlock something with my blood buff. Might as well get all the ammo. I know you haven't seen me use the shotgun yet, but trust me, the shotgun is actually pretty useful at this point in the game. Especially against her bosses, and I will be showing that when I get to some more of the difficult fights in t in the early part of the game. Fakey of play a more stealthy character, and then in this, and I will be, but this will, that will, might come a bit later. I don't know, we'll see. I think maybe I will either invest some of my 
uh, points into either be better at sneaking or maybe I'll just keep it with the speech thing. We'll see how much we got left. I We got quite a ways to go. But at the moment, I'm focusing on making sure my character is able to speak well and reasonably fight well. Alright. Your handiwork, I presume? What the? Are you a werewolf? <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. You're... Who are you and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you, per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? I saw a ghost at a local hotel. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Well, he should, because rapes are interesting too, but... I met some Kindred on the beach that didn't seem like Kindred. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like Kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. The reason there is a large concentration of thin bloods is because the anarchs do tend to embrace whenever they feel like it. <laughs> and thin bloods come from when the generation goes beyond 13. The reason Ralph wasn't a thin blood because he was generation 14. However, the next generation, 14, is when it starts, the blood starts to thin, which is what Lily is. And E is generation 15. Now, apparently, uh, in later editions of Vampire and the Masquerade, the tabletop game, there's a 16th generation, so I don't know if that is the Dampiers, which are children from a thin blood and a human. So, just why I point that out. The Santa Monica Baron has a split personality. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. And the reason why Finn Bloods are considered omens of the Apocalypse, or Gehenna, is because uh, in the prophecy they mention the Finny of the Blood. So they think, oh god, uh, Finn Bloods, they're foretelling Gehenna, quick, kill them, even though that doesn't really work that way. In fact, I think in some versions of Vampire and the Masquerade, uh, perhaps the Gehenna book, Actually, killing fin bloods is actually bringing about Gehenna a lot quicker, so they shouldn't be killing fin bloods. Other than that, I haven't really seen anything extraordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air, like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. <coughs> and be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Night, Beckett. Yeah. Yeah, about that. <laughs> he isn't wrong. We did destroy their warehouse. They are going to be undoubtedly upset with us. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? 
I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm, Bertram, I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? I met your ghoul, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Whatever. I saw it right through Knox. Got him to tell me he, all about all your plan. Oh, shit. I know about all your, the plan and you and Knox had worked out for me. Huh. <laughs> well, savor the flavor, fledgling. Don't worry. I did it anyway. Thanks. You helped me get rid of a spy without revealing myself. Or getting my hands dirty. I want to ask about something else. Sure. Oh, someone else. What do you think of Prince Lacroix? What am I going to say? He's the boss now. Yeah? What about the guy, that, the guy who de decaficated my sire? He's Lacroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really. Except Lacroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard Lacroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. I want to ask about someone else. Sure. What about Nice Rodriguez? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. I see. Uh, can I ask about the other sects? Yeah. What can you tell about the anarchs? The anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? I get you. What about the other sex? Yeah. What do you think about the Camarilla? The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. What's a Katif? Katif are just riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan. Mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Okay. I'm gonna want to ask about the sex. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna ask about the Camarillo. Okay, so. What do you mean, thin bloods? Theory goes that the farther down the bloodline you are from Cain, the weaker the blood is. So if you're, say, fifth generation, the blood is strong. If you're fifteenth generation, you barely qualify as a vampire. A thin blood. Who is Cain? Cain, the biblical brother killer. Oops. Father of all vampires. You mentioned hunters before. Who are they? Hunters. Humans who hunt vampires. Most are half-cocked yokels, who also say they've been abducted by UFOs. The real hunters are trained by secret societies, holy orders of the church that have existed since the Middle Ages. Fear them. Hold up. You said something about Gehenna? Gehenna. The day we all die. When our sleeping forefathers rise and bring about the end of the world. Many believe we are living in the final nights. Hmm. Like what? Sure, Cupcake. It's war out there, after all. You should know all you can about the different sides. I want to know about the Sabbat. You ask me? The Sabbat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops, I'm dead. Now, how did that happen? <laughs> okay. What do you need? Uh, have you heard anything about the serial killer? Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. Probably some Kate of getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the sheriff tracks this guy down, they're gonna make one hell of an example of him. Like what? Sure. 
You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. Sure, but I'm going to go and check my email first. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to check my email so uh, I can oops, uh, see if I got my money from the cloth. I mean, we got a ton of money. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should, uh, should we go down to the pier? I will leave that off the screen. If I have to do the, the stealth mission and I need to get some stealth books, I'll do it off screen, they'll tell you. Oh. Hey, check your computer. Thoughts. Okay. Well, we're gonna go check our computer anyway. And, uh, probably should sell our tire iron, too. Oh. <laughs> What's going on here? Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. What's going on here? Ah, uh, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? Uh, I just hope they catch the uh, the person who did this. Bye now. Huh. Where's Officer Chunk? Yeah, sorry, I was just checking. There's a weapon there if you have Val Inspection 6, I believe? Well, we'll find out soon. Maybe it's Inspection 7, I don't remember. But it doesn't matter. We'll be getting that later. Oh, we got our money. And some more money. Of course, and our hacking shenanigans. And we got our money from, presumably, LaCroix. And we got f four emails. Nicely done. The quad is happy with us. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. SL. The white knight moves to protect his pawn. Hmm. Help me out. Want to get on my good side? Here's how. Head back to Foxy Boxes in Santa Monica and find the Carphonian's computer. Send me copies of the reports and destroy them. Do this as soon as possible, Bertram. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to my, hit my wife again. Oh, Sylvie has a quest for us. Seems like enough for us who got careless and was caught on surveillance feeding in public. The pictures were given to our journalist to be published in the LA Times tomorrow morning. He's at the Empire Arms Hotel downtown and is most likely drunk somewhere near the bar. He's wearing a blue suit that keeps and keeps to himself. Find him and get those pictures back and hurry. Okay, so, yeah, we want to get those photos, and you really want to do this before we, I feel like, before we get to downtown. I found that the quest doesn't trigger if you, if you don't meet Sylvia before, um, before going to downtown. Which is kind of annoying. Thanks. Alright, here's what we got today. Well, let's go and uh, do Bertrand's quest. So we're gonna go back to Foxy Boxes. And, oh, I just, yeah, we have a lot of nice firearm bullets, don't we? All right. Pretty close to having another inspection. Because I'm gonna have more Deception, which is going to be really helpful with firearms. Alright. But I also want to have another charisma. Alright. So we already read the notes here, so they're pretty damning, so... We better... Send the data. Okay, now we're going to destroy it. Oops. Wow, I can't freaking spell, apparently. Thanks. Another matter. I need you to retrieve an item from an old acquaintance of mine that has, that has just returned from Europe. He's a trader in books and lore, so meeting him is probably in your best interest as well. You could usually find him in the parking lot of the Empire Arms Hotel. 
downtown. Do this and uh, it, I will make it worth your while, Bertram. Cool. So that's something we are going to want to do. Oops. And I'm going the wrong way. All right. So. Let's see what other quests. So we got this one to do and this one to do. And yeah, so we got some things to wait on. So. I. So we're going to go into downtown. Where to? Uh, hold on. Let me just save again. Need a ride? So we're going to go to downtown. Sure, let's go for a ride. I'll tell you where, where to stop. So we're going to go to downtown and uh, report back to the prince and of course go to the empire hotel and take care of that guy let's drain it let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise we're going to have a lot of fun with this one Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, lick. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. Oh. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. <laughs> Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Rude, but thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. I remember you... I'll remember that. You do that. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Yeah, it's definitely something we're gonna have to do. All right. And now we're in downtown. Has a completely different song here. I just wanted to mention like all the locations in the final nights, uh, they all have a different song. And again, if you see some of these unique NPCs you've never seen before, again, these are the ones that you can coerce for money. And now we can travel around to locations that we know about. So let's have a little talk with Lacroix and let him know the good news that we've taken care of his problem. Oh! Chunk? Snack cake? What are you doing here? I mean, I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, you stick with me, because I'm going straight to the top, baby. Mind me doing a favor, Moon Pie, and buzzing me up? Oh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm going to have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Insurrection Baby Formula Company, okay. Uh, Sebastian LaCroix. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. 
Thanks. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. If you need any security, well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Did you say Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. Right. Be seeing you, Chunk. And honestly, you do not need to settle for someone stalking you, Chunk. You deserve better than that. Come on. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Yes, that is. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Uh, not at all. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? I'd say yes, sir. Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks, there have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? No, I haven't. What about it? The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, Take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Yes. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He asked me to visit him in the last round. I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kine. I'll go see him right away. Give the Anarch community my regards. Okay. Well, we're not going to go there straight away because I have a little bit of business in the interest of protecting the masquerade. I'm going to quickly go to the Empire Hotel. And then I do believe we will make our way to the last round or, well, maybe make our way towards the last round and then cut it from So we have about 13 XP.
I have a reason for doing this. <laughs> I swear. Oh! Oh, well, we just got ourselves a free baseball bat. That's nice. So we have six inspection, which is nice. Oh! Oh! Just pick up this fancy watch. Well, we also need to uh, give... Go and pick up something for Bertram as well. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna save. We have about this much. Oh, I believe this is our target. Now I'm gonna attempt something. Alright. Yeah, probably not do that. Well, at least not in public. Instead, I'm going to let's see. Let's try to talk to this guy. Well, we can't talk to him, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to wait for him to leave the area. And as you may know, that uh, the only way to get the photograph is to kill him. This is the only way. <sighs> but we've preserved the masquerade at least. Oh, oh no, we were caught again. Darn it! I think someone caught us. I think it was just. Darn it, keep getting caught. So annoying. So I guess we'll just have to wait for him to walk down here and just quickly kill him. Without people noticing. And actually I think I will... Darn it, I did it again. I did it again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just keep screwing up. Um, yeah, so I think once we've taken care of him, I'm probably going to cut this episode off, and when we come back, we are going to go and make our way to the last round, and have a talk with Knights, and hear what he has to say. And before we, and before we actually make our way to the Elizabeth Dane, That's annoying. Sorry about that. I think this was the wrong dude anyway. No, it was the right one. I'm very sorry. My goodness. I am making a lot of mistakes. So I just better be here. But yeah, so we will be doing that. But I will be saving that for tomorrow because I'm actually uh, recording a lot of this on the same day because I want to make sure I have enough uh, videos up for you all as a nice little schedule thing so I am actually recording these videos quite a few videos quite a lot at once because I think it's a, it's a good idea okay well, maybe we should just let him actually walk towards there better yeah yeah there we go there we go now that will be hopefully better Oh, so it saw us again. Darn it. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's that patrolling guard. Ah. It's that other person, too. Hopefully we can kill him easily. <sighs> okay. This 
time we don't have problems. What? How did the police know it was me? What? That makes no sense. No sense at all. What the heck? Okay. Sure. I'm confused. They shouldn't know that I did that. It doesn't matter. But I was subtle and everything. I didn't... Ugh, darn it. How did they know? How did they know? No one saw me kill him. Literally no one. Okay. Whatever. Well, I don't have the cops there. Anyway. Oh, look. This is the person we're meant to talk to. Well, let's talk to him. Greetings, kindred. Are you Kim? I am indeed. Uh, do I know you? Uh, no, but Bertram sent me to pick up this, uh, his item. Ah, uh, yes, the Enigma machine. Here, take it. So, how goes the book business? As usual, poorly. Most canines are only interested in things they can bite. Besides, the kindred in this city seem to be a little too preoccupied with killing and deceiving each other to have time for reading, or other endeavors. Sounds like you have need of some of a bit of spare time. Actually, I might indeed have something that could be of certain interest to a young canine such as yourself. Oh yeah? I'm all ears. There is a book, The Survey Malum. Slaves of Evil, written by the infamous Heinrich Kramer, the Inquisitor who also wrote Malos Maleficarum, the Witch's Hammer. There is a disturbing insight into the existence and lore of kindred in this tome. Luckily, it was never published, and its only copy has always been in the hands of the Inquisition, the today known as Hunters. Go on. I have been pursuing this book for over a century, and finally, I've been able to locate it. It is in possession of a hunter named Edgar Hirsch, who resides here in LA, in the Skyline Apartments. Obtain this book for me, young one, and I shall reward you handsomely for it. Besides, disposing of hunters will look good on your Camarilla resume. Sure, I'll do it. Very well. I shall await your return. This won't take too long. Well, we'll talk to him later. So we'll be dealing with that much later. For now, I'm going to cut it here, and we'll be coming back next time to, well, perhaps we'll kill some hunters, or go straight to nice. Actually, I think I'll kill those hunters first, and then we'll have a nice chat with him.